so welcome back. Um, today we're in St. Pete, beautiful St. Pete. Um, so my wife and I, we're gonna try to catch some sheep's head, some snapper uh, today. Uh, new area for us, so this is gonna be a, a, a really good experience. Hopefully there's not a lot of boat traffic, um, but it is a Saturday, so we'll see how it goes. All right guys, stay tuned. Let's watch us catch these fish. This is where I've caught a lot of sheep's head, right in here. Yep, right along the rocks. You may get hung up, but there's tons of sheep's head down there. It's not that shallow. This is like right where I was catching them, like right in here, in between, in between the rocks and that pole. Fish on. There we go. There we go. Huh? Sheep's head. Yeah. Mm, I don't think it's gonna be big enough to keep. First fish is a sheep's head, guys. Definitely not big enough to keep, but it is a sheep's head. There it is. It's about 10 and a half. Definitely not big enough to keep, but right on the corner. All right. I might not have got enough shrimp today. Got another fish on. How long, how big do they have to be? 10. That might keep. That one might. No, it's probably about eight and a half, nine. I'd measure it anyway, just in case. Oh, shoot. Lost him. That was a good bite. I hope we don't have to go get more shrimp. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put on a crab. All right, let's get a crab on here, guys. Let's, let's do this. Let's see if I can get a sheep's head on that. I knew I heard him. Oh, he's a big one too. No, time for the video because I love the There we go. They're small though. It's two. Just small. Not big enough. All right, let's move. We're going right in there. We're going inside there. Yeah. It's shaded in there. Plus, normally in the back is where I catch all my fish though. The current isn't too bad right now, but How you doing? All right, guys, we are going under. Oh, 
Huh? We've never really caught any up here. We've always caught them up there or like at the very end where we first started. Hey guys, so recently, um, put a little video out, lost the rod overboard. You know, it made me think about um, Colossians 3, 2. It says, set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. And so I had to realize, you know, at that moment, it was gone, nothing I could do about it. And uh, just thanking God that we were, you know, alive and nothing else happened to us. So, um, yeah, set your things, set your mind. That's what the other translation is. Set, set your mind on things above. And so that's what we have to do. And uh, that's what I'm going to do today. Set my mind on things above. So, let's get back to fishing. There we go. Oh, nice size fish too. There we go. Oh, it's a nice size sheep. Yep. Oh yeah. He's a keeper. He's a keeper. Not super big, but it's a keeper. All right. First solid fish of the morning. He's gonna be like right at about 13. Not too bad. Keeper or sheeper. All right guys, let's measure him up. See what he's going. And let's get him in the box. 13 and a half sheep in sheep. All right guys, first sheep's head. All right, I'm going back over here. Ooh, there's a big sheep's head right down here on the other side of this pile. That's actually where I was going. Yeah, there's a big one right there. Get it in the boat. Babe, put it in the boat. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yep, he's going to. The Comorant. Oh yeah, that one's gonna keep. Oh yeah, that's a keeper for sure. Yep, yep. Huh? All right. That's another keeper. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh. I did. I could see him too. He was a keeper. Wasn't real big, probably about the same as the last one. I just didn't get a good hook in him. But they're down there, guys. Oh, I got it! Babe, <laughs> get it in! That is funny. <laughs> He's on the other side of the boat. No, don't, don't give it to him. First of all, that's, that's too big for him. It'll choke on him. Throw it, throw it out this way. He's going to get it. Oh, 
Um, I'm gonna come to you so I can give you some shrimp. Look, look, look. He got it. Because when you throw them in, they're stunned a little bit. Are you going back in? Yeah. My line is caught. No! What the heck? Trigger fish? Mm, I don't think so. I mean, you probably can, but I'm not gonna eat it. It's real, they're really, the skin is tough. It's a different type of trigger fish though. I think that's a trigger fish. It looks neat though. He was tearing it up on the way down. I was dropping it down to the bottom. He, oh my gosh, his mouth is so small. Yeah, I'm just gonna go right here, but then I mean, we probably need to go back over towards the rocks or where we first came in because we can use lures and catch um, trout and stuff. Oh, oh my gosh. No, he's still on. Oh, it's another trigger. Come on, man. It's, it's almost the same, like the same one. How am I catching these things over here now? Look at it. It, it waves. All right, guys. We're leaving from underneath the pier. They were tearing us up, but it was just a bunch of small fish. Um, I lost a couple of sheep's head. I'm sure that's what they were, but there's like tons of bait fish down here. I wish you guys could see all the bait that's down there. But right now we, we both have a, a sheep's head in the boat. Both of them are over 13. So not too bad so far. Uh, we're getting out of here though, because it is getting pretty rocky in here and um no we don't we didn't get much bait this morning so we're running out of bait so we're going to transition to uh the inlet in there on the other side of the jetty it's a lot calmer over there so yeah not too bad but it's just beautiful out here i mean this is the life, living in Florida, out in this beautiful, um, just looking at the beautiful scenery. This is awesome. So I'm just glad my wife and I are able to get out here and do this. It's just a lot of fun being out here together, being out here catching fish. Uh, love it. Even look at that, got the American flag back there, old glory waving. You gotta love it. I mean, I was in 10 feet of water right where I was sitting. That's not a small fish. 
another snapper, but that one might keep. They hit so hard though. They hit like they're gonna be a, a five pound. You just have to cut the line. You don't have any more. Um... Can you use the shrimp still? Look at a manatee in front of you. Look at a manatee in front of you. Back up. It was huge. He's heading that way. Nope, that's him right there. Yep. Oh, that's a fish. It's a good fish. Oh, look at the size of that snapper. Look at that fat snapper. And that is 11 and a half inch snapper. can't believe that Ugh. gotta be kidding me first cast too all right guys that is it for the day we caught a lot of fish they were just small um but we had fun out here though what'd you think of how beautiful it was out here in st pete wonderful day out here dolphins Manatees. All the boats and yachts. There's some big yachts out here in St. Pete. Sea dudes. Yeah. Everyone's out today. Yeah, it's just, I mean, just it's look. It's great to be in Florida. It's it's just beautiful out here today. Look at this. It's just, it's perfect. If you guys did like this video, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. If you've never subscribed before, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out. And then share my channel with others so they can see the type of content we're putting out. All right, guys, till next time, remember God loves you. God bless you. May he keep you. Peace.